We used to be traveling English teachers. We used to be, so that means we quit our jobs. That's right, but before we quit, we went to South Korea, Mexico, Oman, Iowa, and then recently Japan. Yeah, and in all those places, we had a good time, but it got a little old, and there wasn't a lot of organic food, so we decided to become farmers. But we don't know the first thing about farming. But we know somebody who does. And he had a bunch of land he wanted to start a farm on. So we're his farmers. We're farmers. A- almost. Almost. Now I'm gonna sleep and she's gonna drive. Yeah. It's almost 2 a.m. It's 1.50 a.m. So we, we drove from Arizona. We, we had two flat tires that slowed us down. We stopped in Gallup, New Mexico, and Bob slept for like 45 minutes. And I've been driving, and she is sleeping, and now I'm going to sleep, and she's going to drive. Found out it rocks back and forth like crazy. It's so scary. It's scary to watch, and the reason is it doesn't have any anti sway bars. Oh, while you were asleep, it almost, it, I thought it was gonna flip. He was going like 70 miles an hour, and they tried to slow down. No. Because there's no one else in the highway, so we were like way in the lane, like, like in both lanes. No, no, no. Really? Uh, yeah. Really. That's really scary. Yeah. Onwards, get this done. Beginning of week three. Eleven. We're in Texas. It's really hot. Actually, we're not in Texas anymore. Oh. We're in Oklahoma now. We're in Oklahoma now. That's good. Right. Yeah. Okay. We just lost another tire on the trailer. Um, I think it's on the left side, right? right so. I don't know why it pulled off so far like that. It was one of the old ones, right? Felix over there. And we got the dog out here tied to the trailer because inside there are four. And we're looking for an anti sway bar. What do he have to say about the uh. Well, yeah, we need to see that. I mean, that's what he has. Well, that thing. He has those sway bars and they hook on those saddles. Sway bar for the trailer, so we might be able to drive a little bit faster, but I'm unsure uh, right now. Just hopefully, it won't sway as much. But anyway, where are we? So, uh, sorry, folks. Uh, so, so pulpa. 
the Pope. The Pope of Oklahoma. So we're just going to be getting on the freeway now and keep driving. Bob said it's about 900 more miles. Just 900 more miles. To what is that? To Lego County or to Grant? I don't know, but that's what we're doing. Wow. The animals have a ton of ice um, in there to try to cool them off, especially while we were waiting at the trailer place. They had a lot of ice in there, so that's good. Right? Yeah. To their mouth. Anyways, so we're still going. Actually, we just stopped. I've never stopped. I don't know why. I just ran a red light. We just lost our fourth tire on the left side of the car on, on the trailer. Oh crap! The tire thing. Your wagon has broke down. A wa an oxen has died of heat exhaustion. Would you like to eat it? You are unable to repair the wagon. Would you like to buy a new wheel? And like, we just can't get to Oregon. Bye. I got peacock feathers. Peacock. From a farm we visited. Wow. We just lost another tire. This time on a truck. This time on the truck. Bob was just cutting some grass for the goats inside the trailer. We're waiting for the Dunn Riot Tire Company Incorporated to get on down here to help us change our tire. They're gonna bring a new tire for us. It's like a huge truck tire, right? So we're waiting. It's gonna be 45 minutes. We're stuck. I think we've been stuck for about two hours. So, tire on the truck blew. And because of the way we wired everything and then the anti sway bar that we put in, we can't replace it ourselves. So, we are waiting on a guy who's bird dogging his way down to us, is rolling our way right now. I don't know if we'll ever get out of Oklahoma. Two cones, that's all. All the, the done, done right. Oh, now we got a triangle. Hey. Oh, hi. Driving the car, driving the car, looking at corn, driving the car, looking at corn. Big appearance. I look clean because my hair is braided, and that makes it look clean. I've been in the goats. I've been in the goats too, but I'm still wearing a fancy sundress, so I still look fancy. It's not fair. Get a little distance. It's up there. And we are about 120 miles outside of Chicago. There was these people called the Dunn Dun Right. Dunn Right. Dunn Right Tires. Incorporated. Incorporated. And like, you think that's a pretty good name, but it's done. D-U-N-N, as in the Dunn brothers, Jim Bob and his brother, who's much younger, a bunch of chain-smoking Oklahomans, so, uh... They were gold smoking when they pulled up. And during the entire process of changing the tire. And they pulled up like two hours later, it was... Outside of St. Louis to take a quick nap, and we've been rotating, sleeping. Bob is a machine, he's just driving straight through. Oh, he's a machine. On, and he's like... I was like, yeah, I'm out at mark, mile marker 292 on Oklahoma uh, 44, and we need a 265, 17, 16 tire. Uh, can you bring it out and mount it for us? And he's like, why don't you call the store in Big Cabin? And I was like, I should call Big Cabin? And he was like, well, I guess we could bring it out. So I was like, okay, let me check their uh, 
and Bob. And the guy's like, done right tires. It's very chipper. And I was like, oh, hi, this is Felix out on Route 290, or Route 44, mile marker 292. And he's like, who? I was like, Felix. He's like, who? And I was like, Felix, like, Felix the cat. And he's like, oh. So then, uh, I need a 265 for a Ford F-250. And he's like, run that past me one more time. And it's like, I need a 265 for a Ford F-250. And he's like, one more time. And I was like, I need a 265 for a rear, rear wheel on a Ford F-250. And he's like, oh, why don't you say so? Telling to bring another trailer tire because we already we already popped two of those in Oklahoma. We're probably gonna pop another one. We so. needed a spare because we didn't have a spare at the time. So we need another spare tire. Uh, so I call uh, Jim Bob. Where are you? And he's like, uh, uh, I'm just uh, we're rolling towards you. Rolling towards you right now. We're about 15 minutes out. And I was like, oh okay, because we were wondering like if you hadn't left, like if it'd be possible to. Uh, get a trailer tire too. And he's like, oh, I can turn around. He got 15 more minutes. He's like, sure, let's do that. It's really, if you do it in your head, like, that's at least. They weren't there two hours later, and then I call him back. Yeah. I was like, Jim Bob, this is Felix Allen 292. What's your 20? And he's like, uh, we're bird dogging toward you right now. We should be there in uh, more than four minutes. But, you know, they're like, we're, we just passed the bridge over the giant McDonald's. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Uh, we're, we're bird dogging past you right now. We just went past the bridge in the giant McDonald's, Benita. Should be more than four minutes. See you then. And he's like, and I don't mind you calling me. Know how. I know how it is out on the road. You don't know what time it is. You, you sense the direction and everything. I was like, yeah, we're getting a little loopy out here. Well, we'll be there in no time at all. You just wait. Okay, so we get there and like he he does everything. They change the tire. Trailer tire. I was like, Jim Bob, this is like the third tire we've blown out and camping more in two days. He's like, he's like, oh, what is the pressure at? And I was put up to 70. And I'm like, Jim Bob, you think that'll work? He's like, I don't think. I know so. Well, the limit is 65. Right? The limit on the tires is 65. So you, so they're like, that'll be $524, which is like really expensive. But they, they didn't have, they don't take credit cards. He's like, I don't, I don't have no way to take a credit card out here. And they're like, well, we don't have $524 in cash. <laughs> Bob talked to him for like, I don't know, like 10 or 15 minutes and finally got him to take a good credit card. And he rolled away. So, really, about 600 miles. Jim Bob knows his shit, man. He knows what he's talking about. And now we all are talking like this. Oh, I forgot the best part. When I called, when I called to, to ask for tires, he's like, yeah, we got those tires. You go in mudding or snowing? <laughs> it's like it's August. Uh, well, first of all, it's August, Jim Bob, so I don't think I'm going snowing. We're out on the highway. That's one of the normal tires for road, like all weather, all purpose, radial tire. You go in mudding? You go in mudding or snowing? We're in Michigan. We're in Michigan. We made it to Michigan. We made it to Michigan. We haven't lost a tire in a long time. Um, I don't know. We're in, we're in Michigan now. There's Farmhouse One. There's Farmhouse One. We're right behind it. Right now. We got this it. is, um... It's one of our fields. There's another one over there. This is our first look. You're joining us for the first look. What's here? Around a little bit. Coming in. What? What is that? Man? Yeah, this is why he said like I mean, uh, we have so we have a grader for the tractor and we can. Uh, is this thing closed? Uh -huh. Can we make sure it is. I'm 
pretty sure it's closed, but yeah, make, make sure I'll get slapped. Okay, was that the dog or me? Dog. Stepped on me with claws. You have claws. I don't. Don't step on me. Thanks. This must be our access. There's the neighbor's big red barn and our tractor. This is what he had plowed? I think this is field six. It's where the hoop houses are gonna go, in my understanding at least. But he had plowed something already. I think, I think that's what he plowed. That's a big tractor. Wow, is that the McMansion over there? Yeah. That's this thing a, is that's their barn. huge. That house? Yeah. Stop for a second, look at that house, dude. Freaking gigantic. Huge house. Wow, there's our main... This is the main field. That's huge! We're gonna farm all this alone? Yeah, we're we gonna make hay on it. Look, there's all of our straw up there. I think this is ours too, to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so. The road goes in the middle, kind of. Well, kind of. And like the trees are ours too. Yeah. Shoot. Sweet! Dude, this is weird. This is awesome. Are you kidding me? How do you me? feel? This is already. This is pants territory. Yeah, that's okay just like that. Scott, Scott first, then Kitten, Gautier. Come on, Charcoal Ears, Big Mouth, Snowflake. No, they're not even off the ramp. Just do it, yeah, that guy. Do it, yeah. Yeah, get. Hold your horses, buddy. Wow. Overwhelmed. Hungry. Tired. Dirty. <laughs> 45 minutes, an hour. Uh, Rosanna and Bob went to take showers, but somebody had to stay with the goat. They really like to follow Bob, They're, which is a good thing. They like to follow people. You can see him sort of coming right now, but it was difficult for Rosanna and Bob to get away without him running down the road. Um, so they're really happy for the most part, as long as the dog leaves them alone. But uh, running out of daylight, and we have to camp here tonight. So I need to get the tent set up before Rosanna and Bob get back. How's it going, guys? How do, what do you think of Michigan? It's been stuck out here on the neighbor's lawn. The, the goods just uh, sort of took off. Carefully, it was the culprit. We have a shelter for the first night at least. Now. And most of them will follow this green bag. The charcoal just keeps hanging back. The first day here on the farm. Um, we have a lot to do today. In fact, here, let me just run you through my list, right? Okay, we need to figure out where we want to put the trailer. 
This place is so big. So I think we're gonna put the trailer over there. Next, figure out a clothesline. And we need to figure out um, a way to wash clothes as well. Put fencing all over the property so that way animals can't get out. Disc the earth, so that means like rotate it. Make a goat pin, make a chicken pin, make a tool shed, make a hoop house for the veggies, and then, um, did I say make a shower, a cooking area, and a toilet as well? Those things also. Um, There's a Canadian geese, it looks like, over there that landed in the field. And, um, unfortunately, I don't, you can't, I can't see it from here, maybe not. The goats totally knocked down our, the thing we had set up for the chickens, because after, the, we had built a fence for the goats, um, since the other barbed wire fence did not work for them. But all the chickens are out. But the dog isn't freaking out and eating them, so it's good. The cherries. The sun's supposed to set like now. Yeah. It's 9 p.m. It's 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Crap. Mm -hmm. So we ran out. We don't have electricity, so. No electricity. No running water. We didn't film a lot today. Uh -oh. Sorry. The cameras are out of juice. We had to go charge them at Bob's parents' house mm -hmm. in their garage. Mm -hmm. We hauled two more junkie trailers onto our land, which I have mixed feelings about. I think one of them is going to be a chicken coop. The bigger, better one? And we got the goats enclosed and the chickens kind of mm -hmm. nominally protected. Crap. I always miss the driveway. <laughs> yep. Oh, chickens are roosting on the. Shit, they're out again. Why are they? They're trying. They're trying to, to get, get into. The, 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 the trailer. Yeah. Now we have three trailers we have to fix up and turn into something. So the one, farmhouse one, it's full of shit. It's, it was full of shit, and we, sh we shoveled, and we scooped with our hands, and you like hugged the shit. <laughs> I just got frustrated at a point. <laughs> you just got frustrated I'm and was like getting, diving in it, like I'm we're getting just it getting out. it out. You thought it was funny. It was hilarious. Um. I was already like in it, like digging with gloves, like digging it out. It's gross. So we have that trailer. We have a smaller trailer that's kind of similar, and it's like a little mobile home kind of thing. Today, week three. Felix uh, just made our washing machine to wash our clothing. Do line so we can hang out our clothes after we wash them. Uh, we're keeping a lot of um, food in a cooler right now, and um, so you have to put ice in it. Night, it just got really wet. It was great bread, but uh, so we we put it on the roof of the truck. Lots of paper towels, and it's going to dry out. And um, right now we're building a coop for the chickens. Um, Felix went to go get some WD-40 and, um, like a wrench or something. We have to get this nut off of here to put up this coop thing. It's a nice day. Felix in a cage. Felix in a cage. No, Felix, in a cage. Felix in a cage. Felix in a cage. Felix in a cage. Okay. I'm getting some sticks to put up. We should um, stick them in here and like make them stay here overnight. Yeah. At each end, the hardest part was getting it out of the weeds. But we did that. 
putting up sticks for the chickens so they can roost. So right now the chickens, you can see some of them over there, they're just hanging with the goats. So we're going to put some chicken wire over the top and our chickens can stay there until we get a mobile chicken unit up and running. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah, hopefully it'll... Video in if you want. Well, it's a stick bug. It's a stick bug. Think the chickens will eat it? Maybe. I'm trying to feel bad. Whatever. Can you feed us your chicken? Bob, you want to see my stick bug? We don't have a toilet yet. We have a big thing of water on the truck. Like, how many gallons is that? 150 gallons. But, it's just connected to a hose, it's not water pressure. So, we don't have running water in here. We don't have a shower here yet. So before here, there was nothing. Now we have two reflectors on that side two reflectors on that side and our mailbox what what one two four seven three south willow avenue willow road farm so now you can write us letters and send us care packages the problem is like organic things start with like a nine or an eight and genetically modified ones start with like a nine or an eight i don't know which one's which I thought we were going to go bury a chicken. Let's move some of that other shit over here. What? That hay and shit. That can't be our chicken.